and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anika. Today, we're gonna make something for the outdoors for the birds since it's summer. We're also going to be recycling. Today, we're gonna make our own birdhouses. Do you like mine? By the way, since I'm outside, there's gonna be a little tiny bit of noise since all my neighbors are out. They're playing, they're walking their dogs, and also my brother is out too. Hi. Let's get started. Today, I'm just gonna show you the basic structure of the birdhouse. And for the basic structure, you're gonna need a type of box. I'm using a tissue box, a paper plate, and a strong type of glue. I'm using hot glue. You're also gonna need some string. Now, if you wanna decorate your birdhouse, you can use anything you want. But I'm using pipe cleaners, paint, and popsicle sticks. When you decorate your birdhouse, you don't wanna put anything small, like beads on it because they can come loose and they could hurt the bird. For the first step, you're gonna need your box. Make sure it's empty and clean. And also, if it has any excess, like this, you can cut it off. Like so. And also, you can see that the hole of the tissue box is up here. So my box is gonna be facing like this. And we need to make a door for the bird. So I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and cut a hole right here. As you can see, I have made the hole in the box. And actually what you can do is right here, you can put some glue. I can't use my hot glue gun outside since there's no electricity outside. So for this sake, I'm just using tape to show you. So you can put on your glue and then you can fold your door in. And there you go, you have your own carpet for the bird. Now, I'm using popsicle sticks for my roof. But I just can't put it like this because it needs some support. So I'm using cardboard. You can get cardboard anywhere, but I'm using it from a cereal box. So you want the popsicle stick to be the same height as your cardboard, because when you're gonna fold it in half, each half of the popsicle stick is gonna go in each side, like this. So now I have my roof, but I need a little bit more support because it can fall over. And for that, we're gonna use some hinges. This is also made out of cardboard, and again, I'm using some tape. What you wanna do is you want to put this right here, and you hold your board against the hinge, and you're gonna hold it there until the glue, glue dries. And then you're gonna do the same on this side. And you're gonna hold it there until the glue dries. And then you can put on your popsicle sticks. My roof is secure and ready for decoration. For decoration, you can use anything you want, but I'm using popsicle sticks. As you can see, I have cut my popsicle sticks in half. And to show you, I'm just using some normal glue, but you're gonna need a stronger adhesive than that. So I'm gonna glue these on here, here, and then more pairs on and on. There you go. When your roof is done, it should look like this. And since our roof is done, we're gonna get started with the wall. For the wall, I'm gonna be using popsicle sticks. As you can see, I've cut the bottom off. And that's because I wanted to line it up with the box. And you wanna do that too all the way over here because when you sit it on the plate you want it to sit perfectly with no bumps so as you can see i have finished this side here but you also have to do this side and this side and for the front you can put two full popsicle sticks here and then for the popsicle sticks in the middle above the door you want to cut the popsicle sticks in the middle so you have space for the door underneath after your glue is done drying, you can get started with your decoration. I'm gonna use paint. Now for this, I used red paint for the roof, and then for the walls, I used white, 
and several other colors for the flowers and leaves. Now it's time to take your birdhouse and glue it onto your plate. So what you want to do, you want to flip over your birdhouse and you want to put glue on the underside. Okay, then you can put it in the middle of your plate and secure it by putting your hands inside. Okay, and if you have any gaps between your popsicle sticks, you can use pipe cleaners. As you can see on this one, I put a pipe cleaner here, here, and here, and I used red for that, and then I used white pipe cleaners here, 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 and here. Then I use green pipe cleaners down here, 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 and here to make it look like moss and also to secure the birdhouse on the plate. After you're finished painting, you want to let the paint dry first and then after that, we're going to apply some Mod Podge to the areas where we painted. And we're doing that so we can protect our birdhouse from the weather and seal the paint. You also want to tie a string in between the roof so we can hang it on the tree. You can also get some birdseed. I don't have birdseed so I'm using some pulses and lentils from home. Let's go hang our birdhouse. Ready to hang! Ready for lentils! Make sure to put it all around the- Now my birdhouse is full of lentils and it's ready for birds. The only thing left to do is wait quietly and look for birds. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what birds came to your birdhouse. See you next time. Bye.